Hey guys, I'm Spikasaurus, and I'm here today with my first extreme Minecraft transformation. Before I begin, I would like to challenge you all to get this video to 100 likes. Also, if you enjoy this video enough, please consider subscribing, as I'm just starting out, so it'd mean a lot. And also, you're about to see that I'm going to put a lot of work into these videos. Alright, let's get started. As this montage might suggest, today we're going to transform a desert temple into, well, something that most people might consider overkill. And that's exactly what I'm going for. I just want to shoot way past what others have done and do something massive. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this desert temple transformation. The first thing we need to do is to get a general idea of the size of this transformation, and add two more pillars to the back, because, well I think it's going to be cool. I've decided to change it up a bit and go with cylinders for the towers. Now that we know the size, it's time to start forming our landscape to fit the incoming build. I'm using world editor brushes with air, sand, as well as a smoothing brush to bring forth this effect. There we go, I think we can work with that. Now it's time to get a general size and shape to these towers, and this is what I've come up with. Right, so now that we have the shape, it's time to start working in more details into the bottom of the pillars, keeping in mind that we want to stick to a theme. I'll be using oak wood, spruce planks, glowstone, brown glass, and all the sandstone we can get our hands on. I want to give this a lot of depth so it will really pop, adding in glowstone here and there. With the general style decided, I'm going to copy what I have from one corner all around the entire base and touch up the places that I missed. I'm happy with this design, what do you guys think? Now let's move to the middle section, but let's change it up a bit. I'm going to add a series of pillars around the side to give it more depth and structure. And now we'll mimic this layout on the top section as well, obviously scaling down some aspects. These towers make for a pretty good viewpoint, so a viewing deck at the top makes plenty of sense to me. Lastly, we are going to need a way in and out of these levels, so it's time to add some entrances to each level that are decorative but don't take up too much space. Here's what I've come up with. Now that we have this tower complete, let's save some time by replicating it on the three remaining sides using some world edit commands. Now let's get to work on the front wall. I'm attempting to bring all the design elements from the pillar to one small wall which we can replicate around the perimeter of the building. This entrance style will be similar to that of the pillars. Right, time to bring that wall segment around the rest of the temple, finishing one side completely and then copying, rotating, and pasting on the other side. Cool, we have all the walls in place, so the next task is to add an extra layer to our temple. I wanted to add in a new element here, which is the concave down design that mimics temple roofs. As for the sides, I break the new design feature into three pieces and work around that. I'm excited for this next step. We're going to add some life to this build by digging out a waterway and building a few trees around the entire building. We're getting pretty close here. I think this is looking really awesome. What do you guys think? The last step for this exterior is the top floor, and I'm going for more of a hangout spot. Let's see what happens. Let's move inside now to the ground floor and work in a curving staircase and some details to the walls on the side with some fire and wood pillars to support the structure. Now to the next floor, I have a lot less room to work with for this set of stairs, so I'm going to need some creativity, and honestly, just some random clicking will get me there. I'm also going to work on this top floor, adding in some details to the opposing side, but nothing too crazy. Let's see how it turns out. 
Awesome, at this point I'd say the interior is finished. The structure itself is finished as well, but to finish things up I'm going to bring in the environment a little bit closer just to make things a bit more natural. That brings us to completion, and now all we have to do is feast our eyes on what we've built today. Guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. I really put a good amount of effort into this and I hope it shows. If you like this style of video, please let me know in the comments and subscribe if you want to see more overkill crazy builds like this one. I'm Spikeosaurus and I hope to see you guys again soon.